people, welcome to our channel. It's Patrick and Peter from High Seas Escapades. And we are in the car and are heading on our way to Southampton to join Anthem of the Seas tomorrow. Um, I'd say we're not in our own car, we're actually in a rental. We, uh, we just needed a one-way rental. We're, we left Manchester yesterday. Uh, we stayed in a Premier Inn in near Banbury last night, which was, uh, it was very nice, wasn't it? It's very good, yeah. Um, so we've just left there this morning. It's a lovely, bright, crisp autumn morning. Uh, as I say, we're heading down to Southampton. We've just passed Oxford. Um, you can see in the back, we're fully laden with cases. Um, we've got quite a lot of luggage with us this time because uh, we're doing a 12, 12 day transatlantic over to New York. Um, as I say, we leave Southampton tomorrow, uh, then we're down to the Azores, then over to Canada, then Boston, and then finally New York. Uh, and then we fly back home, but we're flying home to London and then back to Manchester, which is why we just needed a one-way rental, so we're going to uh, leave the car in Southampton. Um, so we're very excited for this cruise. Uh, we had to go for our supervised COVID test yesterday, which thankfully both came back negative. Um, so you're always a bit nervous beforehand, because um, obviously for this cruise we needed a supervised COVID test. And of course, if you test positive, then you couldn't travel. So we're both pleased about that. Um, we're looking forward to it. It's a while since we've done it in transatlantic. I think the last time was, can you remember when the last time? 2017. 2017, I'm not sure. Was that the? Celebrity Eclipse. Celebrity Eclipse, yeah. That was uh, from Southampton as well. Mm -hmm. So I think we've done, this will be our fourth transatlantic. Um, Three of them have been east to west, and we've done one uh, west to east. So when you're traveling east to west, um, you get some longer days because the, the clocks go back or forward or something or other. Uh, but you get like a 25 hour day some of the days. So, um, so we get very long sea days. So we'll have to keep ourselves entertained. Um, I'm sure there's lots to do on this ship. We've never sailed um, an Anthem class ship before so that's something else that we're really looking forward to. We've sailed at most of the other classes, Oasis class, Radiance, uh, Voyager. Voyager, Freedom class. Voyager. Uh, so that, yeah this is new so we're looking forward to that. Um, but as I say we're tootling down the road to Southampton. We've got a little while to go, about another hour. 50 miles to go. 50 miles to go. Um, so we will catch up with you at some later point. See you later. Bye. cruise lovers uh, welcome back to our channel it's Patrick and Peter from High Seas Escapades we are sat inside the Leonardo Royal Grand Harbour Hotel what a title yes quite long we're sat in there it's just uh, over the road from the Holiday Inn which is right near to Pier 101 yeah, yeah. Pier yeah. 101 where, where Anthem we can set, currently see Anthem of the Seas is docked ready for us to board up shortly we'll be leaving in about 10-15 minutes because we have the key, don't we? Yeah, which gives you a bit more earlier access to the terminal, but people have already reported they checked in already. Yeah, and it's 10.20 uh, <coughs> in the morning. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're all packed, all our bags are ready to move. Um, we arrived in Southampton yesterday. Um, as I say, we're staying in this hotel, which is really convenient for the port. We went out for dinner last night to an amazing Indian restaurant. Yeah, Cor the... Coriander Lounge, absolutely yeah. fantastic. Yeah, great service, good food. Uh, and then we just crossed over the road to uh, the Standing Order pub where we met a few of our fellow cruisers that have been there from... Yeah, they've been there since about six o'clock yeah. uh, in Weatherspoon. So I bet that was a, a, a treat for some of them. But anyway. Yeah, so we met some people. Um, uh, there's still lots more that, that were on our faith on the Facebook group that we have yet to meet. So we'll see them when we get on board, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, but as for now, we are about to make our way over to the terminal to start our cruise uh, across the, uh, the Atlantic to New York. So we will speak to you when we're on board. Bye for now. Bye.
morning. Hello, everybody. Uh, we're just boarding Anthem of the Seas. Check in with the breeze, wasn't it? Oh, 30 seconds, maybe. Yeah, uh, so we just, oh, loads of documentation you have to show these days, but uh, so you can just see the ship to our right there. Um, not far from my hotel to here, but it, it was a bit, bit of a drag pulling all those cases over an uneven service. It's when you um, realise that pavements aren't smooth. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just like, uh, just really happy to be getting on board the ship. So this will be our first time ever on a Quantum class ship. I think I may have said in one of the earlier videos that we have sailed on all the other classes with Royal Caribbean. Um, but I'd say first time on Quantum class, so we're really looking forward to that.